Welcome to the Calvin Dean Show. My name is Calvin Dean. It is Happy Holiday Show. We have Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas to everyone. I want to shout out to everyone. L'chaim, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tell you, the drink of the week. We are going to make sure that some of that nutmeg stays for the bottom drinks. Why don't right. we start this guy uh, off tonight with a delicious... Uh, salute. Salute. Puerto Rico. Cheese. Arriba, Abajo, Al Centro. Yep. That's, Dentro. Uh -huh. that's, that's everywhere. That's everywhere. That's everywhere. And Toto El Mundo. It smells good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh yeah. Please. That is Ooh. so good. That is so oh. good. Mm. Oh. I just mm. want it. I just want to take it home. Mm -hmm. mm. Cheers. Cheers to you. All right. Thank you so much for Dean Blag. Mixed cocktail hour. That looks so yummy or what? I always have the mixed cocktail or drink of the week right in the beginning of the show. And man, it's the holiday season. Tammy and Scott, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Really, you are. Tune in to their show. Look at the link below and you'll see Mixed Cocktail or a link. Tune in to their show. Subscribe to their show. Week 15 was just amazing, right? Thibodeau with the Giants going off. Gigi Thibodeau, my friend Gigi up in Oregon. She loves that um, Thibodeau. And uh, she was going out of her mind. And when she watched that game, he had, a, he had one sack against Heineke. And uh, he turned it into a touchdown of himself. And then at the end of the game, that blatant call, the interference call that never came about. I mean, come on. The guy was on the guy's back <laughs> before the guy, the ball got there. It wasn't like it was the one like you remember the one in when the Saints played the Rams and there was that blatant call. Remember that one? And they and the, the NFL is going to do something about it, right? Well, I don't know. They didn't do anything about it this time because guess what? We had another blatant inter interference call in the end zone. It was right near the end of the game. It wasn't a um, you know, when usually when they, you have the Hail Mary and, you know, they're, everyone's all over each other. This wasn't like that. This wasn't like that. It was it, it, the ball was went to was going to Samuels, Heineke for Samuels. And the, the defender was all over Samuels, all over. Him. I mean, all over him like a cheap shoot. He, he actually had his legs jumping up on his back before the ball arrived that my friends is pass interference and i don't know if i was the nfl i would check into that i would check into that i mean that ref it did not call he the ref was right the ref saw it i mean it was right in front of him the line judge i mean any referee i mean what happened guys i i i don't understand that I don't understand that call. Anyway, I mean, week 15 was just amazing. Amazing. I mean, just think about it, guys. Just think about all the great play. You have the Minnesota Vikings coming back, the largest comeback in the NFL history. I saw the other one, which was the Buffalo Bills against the Houston Oilers, right? And Warren Moon, remember that game? And they came back, and my buddy Jimmy and I were watching the game. We were in my mom's living room watching the game, and Frank Wright was the quarterback, and uh, just amazing comeback. Uh, I, I went out of my mind, and this one with the Minnesota Vikings, uh, I was just I went out of my mind on this one as well. It was the most exciting comeback in the history of the NFL. Give it up to the Minnesota Vikings on that one, that's for sure. And what about the Raiders? The Raiders beating the New England Patriots. That the ending was so 
wild. You know, Chandler Jones catching the ball from Myers. You know, they're just, I don't know what Myers was thinking. You know, they're, they're young kids, guys. Come on, man, really? And, you know, it's just the, the they're so excited. And, to, you know, just, I don't know. It, who knows what he was thinking? But, you know, Chandler Jones, it, it, you know, intercepted the the throwback. It was the end of the game. Uh, and uh, Stevenson ran it. He pitched it to Myers. Myers went backwards and was throwing it back to Mac Jones. And Chandler Jones was standing there. He, inter- he, he intercepted the ball and went for a touchdown. Wow. I mean, and then he knocked down Mac Jones like he was like a rag dial. It was so much fun to see that stuff. I just love that stuff, guys. I just love that stuff. What what exciting. And what about the, the uh, Green Bay Packers last night beating the Rams? I called that game. I knew um, Baker Mayfield would come down to earth. He's just you know that's just the way he is you know a lot of great games we went 14 and 2 last week 14 and 2 okay ready week 13 12 2 and 1 the record for the Calvin Dean show picking games 12 2 and 1 week 13 week 14 11 and 2 week 15 14 and 2 86% it went up from 85 to 86%. Guys, man, you got to tune into this show. Comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on. If you want to know the winners, don't tune into anything else. Listen to the Calvin Dean Show. You know, think about it. You're going to make a lot of money listening to the Calvin Dean Show. Promise you will. So listen to my show. Listen who I call winning the games and Just go nuts. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, you know, and just think about it. All right. Let's get into week 16. Week, okay. Cheers, Lachaim, for week 16. Mm, yum. Mixed cocktail hour. Thank you, brother. All right. We have Thursday night football. We have the Jacksonville Jags going into the New York Jets. New York Jets getting beat. I called that game. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you something. The Jacksonville Jags look real. They're six and eight. They are for real. We have the seven and seven New York Jets. Robert Solis was talking about who he's going. He doesn't know who he's going to start as quarterback. So it looks like it's going to be White. If White is not available with his ribs, then it's going to be uh, Zach Wilson. And Zach Wilson is Zach Wilson. And that's where the Jets are having a hard time with right now. But, man, Trevor Lawrence has been playing out of his mind. Jacksonville has been playing out of their mind. And, uh, you know, just, I, boy, those Jacksonville Jags beating the Dallas Cowboys. I call that was my upset special last week. Once again, the Jacksonville Jags will win this Thursday night football against the New York Jets. Give it up to the Jacksonville Jets. The first game of Saturday, which would be the Falcons going into the Ravens. The Ravens still without Lamar Jackson. Man, I just, uh, you know, their their offense is just great. We have Huntley, you have Dobbins, you have Edwards, you have Andrews, you have that great defense and that you're playing a rookie quarterback in Ritter for the Falcons you're going to be at home it's going to be nasty the Falcons don't have that uh, luxury of the dome and they're going to be playing outdoors it gets cold in Baltimore especially this time of year 
it's that kind of year, man. It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have the Falcons going into Baltimore. It's just this is this is going to be an ugly game uh, for the Falcons. That's for sure. The Baltimore Ravens are going to beat the Atlanta Falcons in Baltimore. Give it up to the Baltimore Ravens. We have the next game. We have the Detroit Lions. I called the game against the Jets, the Detroit Lions. They're going into the Carolina Panthers. Carolina, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Carolina Panthers. You know, that was one of my games that I called and they, they lost. I was 14 and two. Not many games I lost, that's for sure. Uh, and it just, you know, that's what type of team they are. They're great in one time and the next game they, they're, they're terrible. So, but they're playing the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions are hot. Seven and seven Detroit Lions. They went one and six in the beginning of the season, guys. One and six. They're seven and seven now, right? So Detroit Lions are just playing out of mind. Jared Goff. How about Jared Goff? Wow. I mean, if you're paying, people are thinking, well, maybe we'll, we'll just, we'll play and we'll, we'll, and we'll draft a quarterback in, you know, in the next draft. And then we, maybe we'll be tight. But no, they don't need another quarterback, guys. They have Jared Goff. And they have St. Brown from USC. I mean, they, they have, they have Swift. They, they have um, Williams. They, they, I just tell you, they're for real. The Detroit Lions are for real. Seven and seven, and they're going into the Carolina Panthers on the Saturday, right before Christmas, the day before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But guess what? The Lions came into town against the Carolina Panthers, and guess what's going to happen? The Detroit Lions will beat the Carolina Panthers in Carolina. Next game, we have the Buffalo Bills beating the Miami Dolphins. Call that game. Call that game. Man, I'm telling you, the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen looking all world. His arm is getting better. You just can tell little by little that elbow is getting better for Josh. He, they're going into Chicago, Chi Town, guys. Chi Town, Chicago. You got Justin Fields playing out of his mind. You better keep him in check or it's going to be a long day for the Buffalo Bills. But, you know, you have Josh Allen. You have um, the Chicago Bears really played the uh, you know, Philadelphia is tough. But, man, Philadelphia, come on, man. Both wideouts, almost um, Smith and Brown almost had 300 yards combined in, in receiving yards last week. So, you know, it's Chicago Bears. Wait until they meet Josh Allen. Do you think, <laughs> you think, you think uh, Jalen Hurts is a great quarterback throwing quarterback? Wait until you meet Josh Allen. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know the story. <laughs> this is going to be my best lock. Of the week, my lock of the week is going to be the Buffalo Bills over the Chicago Bears in Chicago, given up to the Buffalo Bills. We have the next game, we have the New Orleans Saints. Wow, the five and nine New Orleans Saints going into the Cleveland Browns, just beating the Baltimore Ravens, which I called Don't Hate Me. My nephews, they, they're the Baltimore Raven fans. They live in Maryland. They live in Florida as well. And uh, I, you know, I just saw it how I saw it. You know, I, I don't have a favorite team, you know, just don't. So, you know, I had to call that game, call Cleveland. Cleveland beat Baltimore. This game's going to be different. You have the New Orleans Saints coming into the Cleveland Browns. It, the Cleveland Browns, they're looking good. They're looking better. They're looking better. The, the New Orleans Saints is just, a, you know, a Nandy, Dalton, Ocklave, Kamara, they just don't look right. They're five and nine. The uh, Browns are six and eight, too. I mean, they're both, both teams are not looking good in the win 
category you know what i mean so i have but this is a little different game you have the new orleans saints coming into the cleveland browns browns you know that they're not at home you know they're they're in the weather and uh you know the nasty weather of cleveland and i'm going to give this one up to the cleveland browns with deshaun watson having a huge game this game given up to the cleveland browns over the new orleans saints we have the next game we have the seattle seahawks limping limping into kansas city kansas city what about patrick mahomes i think patrick mahomes should win the mvp of the league the guy just threw 36 for 41 36 for 41 beat a, he has the new nfl completion record for at least 40 passes in the game at least 40 passes in a game he just beat it 36 for 41 guys wow he now holds the record <laughs> patrick Mahomes, and you know the texans gave them a hard time the texans really gave patrick Mahomes a really hard time and i just this is going to be a this is going to be an interesting game you know seattle's coming down to earth now and you know they're but i think they're going to play kansas city tough i think it's going to be a really close game it might be back and forth game i'm going to give this one up to the kansas city chiefs in kansas city the next game we have the New York football giants, the New York football giants going into the Minnesota Vikings come what the largest comeback in the history of, of the NFL was Minnesota. What a great game that was Ugh, jumping out of my chair on that one. That was one of the finest games I've seen in a long time exciting 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 game and so we have the New York football giants you know coming into the Minnesota Vikings uh, you know I'm you know New York football giants the Saquon Barkley looked really much better I mean he looked like the he was really the last few games he he hasn't really been running the ball well but last week, you know, this last week against the Commanders, it looked really, really, really good. Thibodeau playing out of his mind, you know. Yeah, just, wow. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Jefferson, Thielen, Thielen's going to be a huge game. He's going to have a, he's going to be one of those games. Thielen, Jefferson, you know, Kurt Cousins, underrated Kurt Cousins. I Everyone, you know. They just they just don't give him enough credit as credit is due. We have uh, we have the Vikings eleven and three guys eleven and three yeah. Well, giving this one up to the Minnesota Vikings at home over the New York Football Giants. We have the next game. We have the Bengals going into the New England Patriots. Yes, the Bengals going into the New England Patriots. Wow. Uh, Bengals playing out of their mind against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What about giving up to the Bengals? They just had that young defense, and uh, they they held the Tampa Bay Bucks under 100 yards rushing, and they held them in the second half only to six points. You know, so that that Bengal defense and is is coming alive, and their offense is coming alive. Watch out, New England. Watch out because. Joe Burrow is coming into town with Jamar Chase, with Higgins, Boyd. I could go on and on and on again with the Bengals. That defense is playing better. The New England Patriots offense is just stagnant. It's like watching paint dry, you know? It's just ugh, it's terrible, terrible. I'm giving this one up to the Cincinnati Bengals beating the New England Patriots in New England. The next game we have the Washington Commanders going into Nikki's Niners, the San Francisco 49ers. This is going to be a fun game to watch. That is passing over. I don't know if it's going to be too fun for the Commanders because if you thought that the <laughs> New York football Giants defense was tough, Heineke getting crushed, Thibodeau grabbing his sack and taking the ball in after the fumble and making a touch, getting a touchdown. Thibodeau, Thibodeau, Thibodeau. But guess what, guys? <laughs> 
This is the San Francisco 49ers. If you thought, if the commanders thought that the <laughs> the New York football giants were a tough team, a tough team. <laughs> I say this all the time. If they thought they were a tough team, they're playing the San Francisco 49ers. That defense is number one in the NFL, and they're number one for a reason. And I'm telling you something right now. Purdy, McCaffrey, Purdy, Ayuk, Kittle, George Kittle playing out of his mind this last week. Two touchdowns, one for 58, one for 28, giving this one up to the San Francisco 49ers over to Washington Commanders in San Francisco. We have the next game is the Philadelphia Eagles going into the Dallas Cowboys. This is going to be a fun game to watch. I mean, look at look at what happened. The Eagles are 13 and 1. Dallas Cowboys 10 and 4. Losing on a walk-off interception, pick six to the Jags. I called that game. It was my upset special. And you have Jalen Hurts. Now, guess what, guys? Jalen Hurts sprained his right throwing shoulder. Once again, Jalen Hurts hurt his right throwing shoulder, sprained it. Now, if you ever sprained an ankle, you know how it swells up and stuff, and it's really hard to walk on? Jalen Hurts sprained his right shoulder, his throwing shoulder. He needs that shoulder to throw with, guys. And if you ever sprain an ankle, how it swells up and stuff, and it's hard to walk on, just think, right shoulder, throwing shoulder, sprained it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys got to be pissed. 40 to 34, they lose against the Jags, you know, and the Jags really played. I knew they were going to play tough. I, they're in Jacksonville. I just knew that Jacksonville Jags were going to win that game. I just knew it, you know, and you have a very, very good Philadelphia Eagle. You know, the Philadelphia Eagles are very, very good. You, you have a very good team. In the Philadelphia Eagles. And then you have the Dallas Cowboys, another good team. They're in Dallas. Mm, do you smell that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Is that the ham? No, no. Mm. Turkey? No, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. People, wait, wait a minute. I am smelling something. It's called my upset special. This is my upset special for week 16. Yes, guys, give it up to the Dallas Cowboys will beat the Philadelphia Eagles in Dallas. This is my upset special the day before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And guess what, everyone? I saw Santa come down the chimney and he said to me, he said, Calvin, there's going to be an upset special. And that upset special is going to be the Dallas Cowboys over the Philadelphia Eagles, giving it up to the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> we have Saturday night football. <laughs> I, I just had to do that. Saturday night football. We have the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, my God. What a win over the New England Patriots going into Steel Town. The Steelers are just playing out of their mind. They just beat Cal Carolina. Casey Steelers, my nephew Casey, love you, buddy. Merry Christmas to you and your girl and your family and Taylor. And I'm going to be calling you guys during the holidays, okay? So answer your damn phones. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you have the Las Vegas Raiders going into Steel Town. This is going to be a tough game. You know, the Raiders, you know, they're six and eight and the Steelers six and eight. You know, I don't know if they can make the playoffs or not. They need to win out and then they need to get lucky on a few other games, a few other teams that need to get lucky. They could if they won out. It's it's a tough thing that you know. I think the Las Vegas Raiders are a better team. I think they're going to be on the grass, and I'm telling you something. They're going to love that. I mean, Josh Jacobs is going to love the grass, and you know they're outside. It's going to be it's going to be nasty Philadelphia weather. I mean, you know Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, the same thing. It's going to be nasty Pittsburgh weather. It's going to be nasty, guys, nasty. So I'm going to, 
you know, this Casey, Casey, don't bet on this game, Casey. Do not bet on this game. But, yet, but I, the Raiders and the Steelers, I'm going to give this one up to the Las Vegas Raiders eking out a victory on a last second field goal. The Raiders will beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh, giving up to the Las Vegas Raiders. We have three games on Christmas Day. The first game we have the Green Bay Packers. They just beat the Los Angeles Rams in Green Bay. It was like eight degrees. I mean, they were wearing wetsuits. <laughs> the Rams were wearing wetsuits to try to keep warm. I mean, when you have eight degrees in Green Bay, oh, it's ugly. It's ugly, guys. But you have Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, we're going to win out. We're going to make the playoffs. I'm not buying in. I'm not buying in, Aaron. I'm just not buying in. You're playing the Dolphins. The Dolphins eight and six. You know, I just, the Dolphins have lost three games in a row. But no, man, you're playing the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins, you know, Green Bay Packers defense is a tough defense. They do play really well. They played well against the Rams. They had five sacks. You know, they could get at Tua. But they, you know, they're playing the Miami Dolphins. I just don't see Miami losing this game. Sorry, Aaron. I'm giving this one up to the Miami Dolphins at home. Giving up, they're going to come back and they're going to um, get out of that losing streak. Giving it up to the Miami Dolphins over the Green Bay Packers on Christmas Day. We have the next game. We have the Denver Broncos going into. The Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium. Uh, it's a 130 game. You know, uh, just Baker Mayfield. We have, I don't know who we have with the <laughs> Denver Broncos. Uh, Russell Wilson, maybe, maybe, maybe who knows? I, you know, it's just, it's sad. You know, the Denver Broncos, they just, they won this last game. I call that game. But there, you know, this is going to be an ugly game. Baker Mayfield against the Broncos. The Broncos defense is for real, um, but their offense is ugh. And their defense for the Rams look good, sort of. You know, I mean, it was eight degree weather. So, you know, I just, this is going to be an ugly game to watch. This is when um, I um, go take a nap during uh, the um, Christmas day. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Anyway, we have the Denver Broncos going into Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium. It's just I Baker Mayfield. I'm giving this one up to the Rams at home, giving it up to the Rams on Christmas Day. The last game on Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. We have Tampa Bay limping in to the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday night football. Wow. Tom Brady not looking good, but you are playing the Arizona Cardinals are without Kyla Murray. They did they, they play well. You know, the Tampa Bay Bucks, they're six and eight. This uh, Cardinals are four and ten. They're four and ten for a reason. They just don't look good. And, you know, I think Tom Brady's going to bounce back. It's going to be in warm Arizona. Maybe not so warm, but maybe, I mean, just it's going to be warmer than, you know, in Green Bay. That's for sure. <laughs> so we have Tom Brady coming in, playing the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a fun game to watch. It's, it will. It will be a fun game to watch. Hopefully they'll both both teams will spread it out and give us a thrill at the end of uh, on Christmas Day. Yet I am going to give this one up to Tampa Bay with Tom Brady and the Bucks giving it up to beat the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday night football, Christmas Day. We have Monday night football. Yes, Monday night football. We have the Los Angeles Chargers going into the Indianapolis Colts, getting beat by the Minnesota Vikings, the largest comeback in the history of the league i don't know what indianapolis does in the fourth quarter but they've lost two games in a row where they have this large lead and they lose it 
<laughs> what a large lead uh, the Minnesota Vikings what was it 33 to nothing in the in the first half and they come back and they beat them wow hats off to the Minnesota Vikings this but the Los Angeles Chargers I called Los Angeles to win this last week as well which was week 15 the Los Angeles Chargers looking good a bear is just he's just he's eating up you have Allen you have Williams. You have you have so many weapons, you know. And Justin is just he's definitely heating up. You can tell his ribs are healed, and he did have fractured ribs, guys. You know, he fractured them in the Kansas City game, and he still played. He threw a rope. Remember that rope he threw in the Kansas City game, and he fractured ribs. Wow, I what a what a throw that was. And uh, you know, I'm telling you something. The Los Angeles Chargers, they're looking good. They're eight and six, guys. And they're playing the four, nine, and one Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis. Wow. Ugly. Matt Ryan, ugly. Guys, just I don't know, man. They they came out like like game like gamers, man, against the Minnesota Vikings. They just look great. But then they just, they just lost it, and they're going to lose it this one. I'm giving Monday Night Football up to the Los Angeles Chargers, giving it up to them. Guys, thank you so much. Week 16, keep watching, guys. 86% wins. But what we always do at the end of every show, we have to give it up to, ready? Mix Cocktail Hour. Three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Love those guys. Love Tammy. Scott, you guys are the best. I'm telling you, watch Mixed Cocktail Hour. Look at my link below. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Like their shows. I do. I watch their shorts every single day. Love it. Love it. Man, thanks for watching, guys. Happy holidays to everyone. My sister, love you, Marion. Uh, happy holidays, honey. And my brother up in Montreal, love you, bro. Love you. Happy holidays to you. And to all my family, my friends, the Blags, love you guys. Love you guys. And to all my family in Florida, Michigan, everywhere baltimore you name it um i you know i just want to wish everyone a happy holidays happy hanukkah merry christmas to everyone i'll see you in week 17 thank you so much for tuning in all right guys thank you